Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe March is already here, so that means I need to create my four weekly spreads to get prepared for the next month. For this month, I wanted to create a few female figures and practice drawing faces and the female body. What I didn't anticipate and didn't prepare for was that the areas that I was drawing in is pretty small, so it was pretty difficult to draw the faces or any type of full figure bodies. So I did my best and I kind of just created a simplified drawing instead. So this is two months in now that I'm using the bullet journal and I'm not going to lie, I really do enjoy it and I find it much more helpful and useful than the generic planners that I would that I used to buy from the store where they already have everything set up for you. I like the control that you're able to create and be able to modify what you want to keep track of. I also like the idea of being able to pick my own quotes and add in the inspiration wherever I want them to be. It's also a really nice way to force myself to draw something, um, especially when I don't feel like drawing. So for the first week, I decided to draw a princess ball gown and since there wasn't a lot of space, I kind of just did a capture of the image. I've always enjoyed looking at the very fluffy feminine ball gowns, so I thought it would be fun to draw. So the quote that I chose for this week is, Little girls with dreams become women with vision. I couldn't find the author to this quote, so if anyone does know the author of this quote, I'd love to find out. I'd appreciate the information. For the second week, I decided to take another reference photo that had a woman reading, lying down in the grass outside. And I decided to add in the extra graphics of the stars and the swirls and the rainbow coming out. For those of you who aren't already aware, I am a huge bookworm, so I really love reading and it was my favorite way of escaping into my own imagination as I was growing up as a child. And the second quote that I chose for this week is Strengthen the female mind by enlarging it and there will be an end to blind obedience. 
by Mary Wollstonecraft. I hope I pronounced that right. This quote really resonated with me because I've always been an advocate to being able to think for yourself and to educate yourself enough and to be firm in your own values and beliefs so that you can have your own opinion without the influence of other people's opinions and beliefs imposing onto yours. Especially in today's world, I find that that's a skill that is very necessary for your own self-preservation. So for the third week's art, I decided to almost copy one of my favorite artists that I found through Instagram by the handle MoonMXTR. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down below. I actually just realized that he had a YouTube channel as I've found him through Instagram and that's where I've been following him. The artist's full name is Olivier Monanto. I'm not sure if I pronounced that wrong. He is an art director and an illustrator from France. I really enjoy seeing his style in his illustrations with bold colors and line design. And this specific drawing that I chose to draw of his is something that I just felt stood out to me. And I did change a little bit of the design, but I kept most of his, his own character design. So for the last drawing, I chose a random reference photo from the internet and I wanted to try to combine pencil with a little bit of color pencil, which I don't think turned out too well because of the smearing of the graphite. But in the end, I did enjoy drawing all of these female portraits because it really did help me figure out what style I want to start drawing the female portrait. It made me realize that I really did enjoy drawing female portraits and I know that's an oversaturated area of art but hopefully I can figure out how to make it my own as I keep discovering what what is best for me. So the quote that I chose for this last week is, You're going to be happy, said life, but first, I'll make you strong. I think the message in this quote speaks for itself, and I felt that this was a really nice quote to end the month in, especially with all that we have all gone through in the previous year.
all right so that's all i do have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and i'll see all of you beautiful souls in the next one